Some kind of connection to the great Howard Stern, the greatest radio host in the history of the medium. I was in his movie a long time ago. I also was side by side with him when he went to the bathroom once and peeked over. And Tiki was actually a guest, a guest on the show. It was. Which is nuts. It was odd because it was, that was when, because I used to work at Sirius XM. Right. Back when I was playing, I did the barbershop, me the and Ron barber Day. barbershop. And uh, I never went over there because <laughs> he had his own, like, wing. Yes. There was a door you had to go through and it was locked. Yes. And you, there's no access to it. That and, is correct. And then years later, when I started Thusio, you know, I'd gone through lots of ups and downs personally, professionally, and I get a call. They want to interview me. So I come over. <laughs> it crashed our server. First of all, it was a, it was an online marketplace. Right. It crashed our server when he started talking about it. We had this, this crazy conversation about life and whatever. You know, but speaking of that, because I know a lot of people listening right now are going to go to YouTube and they're going to look for Tiki Barber on Howard Stern. Mm-hmm. There's only five minutes. I have looked everywhere for Tiki on Howard because yeah. I I believe that it presents oh, many there. opportunities for us. I was there for, for like an hour. No, I know, but <laughs> it was a I long can't, interview. I can't find the interview. So I, I when you go to YouTube, mm-hmm. there's a five minute clip. That's where we famously, not famously, but Lugie has a drop. Hey, tiki f- off. Yeah, that <laughs> clip of Tiki bleep off. That's Howard Stern. <laughs> but we only had like five minutes of the interview. Yeah. So if you could ever find that interview, I'd love to listen to it. <laughs> I think we all it's would. It's got to exist somewhere. I'm sure it does. I just can't find yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to search so archives. It, you may have missed it, but the other day, it was a couple weeks ago. And the headline was really something Tiki said. Tiki <laughs> talked about how Jeremy Shockey was very well endowed. He made that comment. He just said he's a large man. He said he's a large man. <laughs> of course, he shared the locker room for years with Jeremy. So he said that. And then Sean and I started talking about peeking over at the restroom. Sean had done it for Drew Brees. I had done it for Howard Stern. And Howard apparently got wind of it mm-hmm. and responded to all of this on his show. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we present to you the great... Howard Stern talking about us. There's no chance Evan Roberts ever saw my penis. I'll, I'll play the clip and then I'll explain why this couldn't have happened. Yeah, I kind of saw Howard naked. Howard Stern. How? But it wasn't in a locker room. It How was. Is that even possible? No, and, I, and I've told this story. I think Howard's aware of it, so it's not uncomfortable. Please don't tell me it's when you did his movie. No, no, oh. I was working at Sirius. Okay. And it was before he got the private bathrooms because I think he ended up having. All right. First of all, not Evan. Possible. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was when he was a kid, but okay, he was older. I've always had a private bathroom at Sirius. I've never once set foot in the public bathroom. Not true. That's number right. one. Having like a private area, so it was early on. Yes. And I was in the bathroom, and he was there, right there next to me. And now I'm like, I got to say something. I was in his movie, but then I'm also like kind of looking over. <laughs> and when I peeked over, I, you know. Yeah. Why would you peek? Oh, you got to peek, Tiki. You got to peek. a stranger. Nah, I got to peek. Because you got to know. You got to know. No, you just got to know. know. Not even Beth is allowed to see my penis. No, here's the thing. I am so uptight about peeing out of urinal anyway that if somebody was peeing right next to me back in the day at Sirius, I would have just zipped up and walked away. It's just there's zero chance. I would be traumatized. I would remember Evan Roberts standing at the urinal with me. It just doesn't it doesn't happen because I have tremendous phobias. OCD, all kinds of shit. It just It's impossible Okay, now, that he saw me naked. Now, I don't know if Howard knows this. I'm a Howard Sternologist. I'm a super fan. Now, I have not been able to listen as much over the last few years because of my work schedule, but I had seven years in a row, Tiki, where I did not miss an episode of Howard Stern. Seven years? That's right, every word. Seven years in a row. So, Howard, I know everything about you. Mm. And I mean that as a compliment. I love yeah. the guy. Yeah. And one thing I know about Howard Stern is he's got the memory of a goldfish. (laughs) He doesn't remember anything. (laughs) So let me take you back, because I would, Evan Roberts, little Evan, would remember getting the honor of going to the bathroom next to Howard Stern. Why would Howard remember? I'm just some schmuck going to the bathroom next to him. He signed a deal to go to Sirius. Mm -hmm. I was working at Sirius, much like you. Yes. In the year and a half before he started in 2006, Howard would pop in. He even gave a big speech to everybody. He'd pop in, and they were building his private area. Listen, man, nature calls. And I was lucky enough to be on the 36th floor that day when I went into the bathroom right next to the lobby, as did he. 
And I'll ne- this is not I'm remembering incorrectly. Maybe it was, if I'm going next to Howard bleeping Stern. <laughs> and I went and I did peak. And yes, he was probably doing a better job than most of making sure nobody can see anything. <laughs> but trust me, Howard, I adore you. I remember every second of that interaction. I even remember what I said to you when we were washing our hands. And I'll never forget what you said back to me. I said, very nervously, hi, Howard. I work over at Maxim Radio. That's where I was working at the mm-hmm. time. I was in your movie. I said the, the, the terrible thing. Don't want to get into that. <laughs> and Howard looked back at me and looked back at me. And I know it's BS. And that's okay. It's okay that this was BS. Howard looked back at me and said, my favorite scene of the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, I knew he was just being not. That's yes. okay, though. Yeah. So trust me. I did not misremember. It happened. We got another part? Go ahead. Let me ask you something. You say you would have zipped up. How do you mm-hmm. do that without being Great seen? question. <laughs> oh, there ain't that much to see. And plus, I pr- <laughs> what I do is a wall press. I'm practically, I'm so, I thrust my hips into that urinal so that there's a complete seal around what I'm doing. You can't see, possibly <laughs> see over. There's an airtight seal. Yeah, airtight oh. seal. Even if, Robin, you were standing right next to me, you'd be like, what the hell's this guy doing? He's, 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 he's in the urinal. He's almost, pe- <laughs> he's almost completely has half his body in it. <laughs> so I don't believe that. Maybe he thinks he did, but that's fine. But anyway, Evan Roberts, who was in my movie, and you know I got a fond place for anybody who was in that movie. Yeah. So I'm not... I'm not saying he's lying, but he might just be delusion, delusional when it comes you to You think this. he saw somebody else I think, and thought it was you? I, I, I think that he wants to see my penis. He <laughs> desperately wants to see my penis, but uh, I don't yeah. think he did. <laughs> Can you believe he but got it, into well, my brain to know I desperately want to see his He no wants way, to see my there's penis. no way that you would have confused him for someone else. No, no, no. So and that part is a, that's a that's a bad like suggestion. Of course. He is he is not mix up mix upperable. No, <laughs> right? I, listen, I worked at Sirius for 3 years. There's very little I remember from my time there. Very little cuz it was very unmemorable. I didn't love it. I didn't have the greatest time in the world. I've got five memories from my time at Sirius, four of which I am not talking about on the air. All right? My wife could be listening. Uh-huh. But one of my memories is going to the bathroom next to the great Howard Stern. And here's the creme de creme. Is that the term, creme de creme? Uh, creme, creme de, de la creme. Creme de la creme. Creme of the crop. I can't provide the audio, but I know it exists. The day I peeked over at Howard... It creeped around the, the serious. Everybody found out about it to the point where Howard used to have his own news department. True story. It was called the Howard 100 News. Okay. And a reporter named, I think, Steve Lankford came up to me and said, heard about you peeking over at Howard. <laughs> Can you uh, comment on it for the news? No. And I was like, of course, of course I could. There was a news story about me peeking over at Howard. He desperately <laughs> he wants to remember. see my penis. And he doesn't remember He that. don't remember. 